Newton's law of universal gravitation says that every point mass attracts every other point mass with a force that's directly proportional to the product of the two masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The constant of proportionality is called the gravitational constant, denoted by big G. Let's apply this law to objects we see around us and see whether it makes sense. This is Obama, and this is Kim Jong-un. Are they attracted to each other? Probably not that kind of attraction. But, since both of them have a mass, then yes, there is a gravitational force of attraction between them. So why don't we see them accelerate towards each other? Because the force of gravitation is very weak. The gravitational constant is a very small number, 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11. So even if Kim Jong-un is 100 kg and say Obama is 1000 kg, when we multiply these three numbers up, we are still looking at just about 1 micronewton. But wait a minute, what about the denominator? Newton's law of gravitation is an example of the inverse square law, which means that the nearer the two masses are, the stronger the gravitational pull. So what if we place them so close that they are touching? Doesn't that mean that the separation between them is zero? And any number divided by zero is a huge number. That would mean that it's now impossible to pull these two persons apart since the force of attraction between them is infinite. Clearly, we must have applied the Newton's law of gravitation wrongly. In fact, the law only talks about the force of attraction between two point masses. So if we were to apply the law in its original form, then we will have to calculate the force of attraction between each and every molecule on Obama with each and every molecule on Kim Jong-un. If we have to do that every time, then this law is useless because it will be too tedious to apply. Fortunately, some people who are very good with mathematics have proven that if we are talking about objects whose mass is distributed with a spherical symmetry, a good example will be a ball of uniform density, then we can do all our calculations as if the ma entire mass of the ball is concentrated at just one point right at the center of the sphere called the center of gravity. So now you can see, even if two balls are touching each other, the distance between them is not zero because we have to take the separation between the two center of gravities. So don't worry, even if two objects are touching, the force of gravitation between them is not going to be infinite. Now, for the sake of discussion, let's assume that Obama's ball is 100 times as massive as Kim Jong-un's. In that case, is the gravitational pull that Obama exerts on Kim Jong-un going to be 100 times the pull that Kim Jong-un exerts on Obama? Of course not. The gravitational pull that the two of them exert on each other are action and reaction pair. As according to Newton's third law, these two forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. But of course, even though the force is the same, Obama being 100 times as massive is going to have an acceleration that's only 1% of Kim Jong-un's acceleration. So it's going to look as if it's only Kim Jong-un who is sucked towards Obama.